Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So today I have created a decorate with me video where I decorate my um, bedroom and my kitchen and even my guest bathroom a little bit. So I thought I would bring you guys along for the ride. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free so please click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I post every single week, sometimes multiple times a week, so trust me, you don't want to miss out. Okay, so we are starting off with my bedroom. I decided to dress up my little dresser that I have. And um, so you saw me switch out my candle. I had a fall candle and a fall candle holder. I switched those out for a winter themed one, of course. And I have this wreath that I create like a candle holder out of every year. I do have a video, like a DIY video on this if you want more detail, but basically um, I just have this wreath that I got from the Dollar Tree and a bunch of these little picks and sticks from the Dollar Tree that I took apart and I just keep layering them until I like the end result. And that kind of creates a little candle holder effect for my candle and it just looks very festive and glittery and I love it. I originally saw this at Bath and Body Works. They had a similar one but they were selling it for like I don't know like 25 to 50 bucks which is like their usual pricing and I was like you know what I can make that and I used all Dollar Tree products and it was so much more affordable and you can glue it down together um, you know I would suggest like hot glue or something and just glue it down if you want but I just redo it each year because it's just easier for me to package it away at the end of Christmas like this so um, that's why I just keep it all separate like that like I just keep it in a ziploc as you saw. I will link the original DIY video down in the description box below for you guys in case you wanted to see it more in detail but I'm just gonna speed through this part real quick. But essentially, I just start off by separating the gold from the silver so that I can easily alternate between the two and create like an even disbursement of colors, I guess. So uh, that is basically what I do and um, I just do it until it is pleasing to the eye. But of course, be careful when putting this together, make sure nothing is close to the flame when you light the candle. So just be careful of that. Next up we have my little mini Christmas tree, which I've had since I was a kid and I had no idea where to put it. So I finally decided on putting it on top of my other dresser. So here I'm just assembling it and it was very, very squashed in my little duffel bag. So of course you have to fluff up the tree first before you start decorating. And the tree was looking a little sparse, so I did have some extra green tinsel, which I just kind of pushed in between the branches just to create a little bit of a fuller look. And I basically just stuck with all the decorations that I already had for this little tree. Um, I had this gold tinsel, which I reused for this tree, and then all the ornaments are all very old vintage ornaments that I've had since I was a kid. So I just reused all of that. And just like I did with the candle ring, um, I usually like to just separate all of the ornaments or whatever I'm decorating into categories. Um, so if they look alike, I just put them together. And then when I start decorating, I just take turns with each little pile so that everything is perfectly like spread out on the tree. So that is how I kind of keep the tree looking a little bit even or as even as possible. And I'm really sorry about this like awkward angle that I'm filming at. Uh, I desperately tried to balance my camera on literally anything and everything and it literally would not stay up. So I just had to put it on the floor do it like this but I mean essentially you can see what I'm doing here and of course I have Christmas music playing in the background and that was my husband if you saw him poking his head through he he just loves when the camera's on oh my gosh so he just he wanted to be a part of it as well but anyways this is the final result of my little Christmas tree and every time I put this thing together I just I don't know it's very nostalgic for me so yeah, that is my little Christmas tree. 
And usually I put the Christmas lights on before I put all of the ornaments and stuff like that, but I literally had no time. Traveling the first week of December totally threw me off, which I, I just didn't think it would. But oh my gosh, like all of the decorating and everything, it was just like pushed back and oh, so I'm like literally playing catch up right now. But anyways, I just put the lights right on top and I mean you can't really tell, especially when it's dark and you put the uh, lights on at night. It looks very pretty still. And I was very determined to use every single Christmas decoration that I owned. So around the base I just put some Christmas ornaments that I had uh, just to make it a little bit more festive but also to use up all of the decor that I had. And the Christmas tree skirt is I think from Dollar Tree actually but it's just red with some glitter snowflakes. And I ended up finding these little mini candles which my family gifted me I think a year ago. These are the most like amazing candles ever. There's these tiny little candles, but the scents are amazing. I have no idea what brand they are or anything. And uh, oh my gosh, if they had like full sizes of these, I would be buying all of them. But uh, anyways, I just kind of dispersed them all around. And I even put one right next to my bed. That one smells like jasmine, which is probably my most favorite scent ever. It just... It's amazing. And then right next to my bed, I also have my Vanilla Bean Noel um, hand lotion and body spray, as well as their aromatherapy. I think it's like tea tree and peppermint oil. Um, for the holidays, I just really like to have like a theme when it comes to uh, like scents. So um, I use that before I go to bed and it just makes me so happy because I smell like Christmas. And um, if you're looking for something like more soothing, like right before sleep, uh, I would definitely tell you to get the aromatherapy one. Oh my gosh, that is so relaxing. And yet it has that touch of Christmas, which I love. Now we are moving on to the kitchen. So I decided to start with the kitchen cabinets. And if you saw my Decorate With Me Christmas Edition last year, then you saw that I made each of the cabinets look like presents. So I'm just doing the same thing here. And it was really nice because all of my cabinets in this house happen to be the same size. So I didn't have to cut any ribbons or anything, but I just used some painter's tape. So everything comes out um, cleanly when I decide to take this down. But um, yeah, so I just put the green ribbon um, straight up and down and then I had these little red bows from I believe the Dollar Tree and I just placed them in the middle with some uh, what's it called twist ties twist ties it already came with twist ties so that worked out perfectly and then I just happened to look up and I noticed that these two lights looked very lonely so I decided to add those red bows on each one of those lights as well Next, we are moving on to the coffee station. Um, I tried to keep it as simple as possible with just one tiered tray. And this tiered tray ended up being penguin themed. Um, I got this hot chocolate, which a friend gave. And I had this penguin mug from when I was a kid. And I put my little Mickey mug the brand new mug that i recently hauled i'm super excited about um i love that mug by the way i used it several times already and it's amazing it's huge and it's perfect for hot cocoa but uh yeah i just basically put my mugs there i have hot cocoa mixes and some pine cones i have this hot cocoa topper which i recently hauled as well and this little dessert spoon set and the little brown box uh, that's actually chocolates, so it just I kind of tried to go with a hot cocoa chocolatey penguin theme I may make some changes I'm literally never done decorating until like the day of and even still like on Christmas I'll be moving things around so I'm planning on doing a final Christmas house tour like walkthrough so make sure to be um, looking out for that you know subscribe hit that notification bell so that you know when that video comes up 
Next, I'm just gonna jump right into the guest bathroom. I just kept it very simple. All I did was change out the towel and I had like this little Santa Claus towel, decided to use that. And then I switched out the soap dispenser for this one shaped like a Christmas present, which I absolutely love. So uh, yeah, just kept it very, very simple. And right in between the kitchen and the dining room, I have this little doorway. So we decided to hang these curtain lights. I finally found them. I was looking for them everywhere for my Thanksgiving decor, but I did not find them. And then I finally found them amongst my Christmas decor. So uh, yes, I had the help of my wonderful husband and I decided to add some garland. And of course, my husband helped me with that as well. <laughs> I needed some muscle to push those uh, thumbtacks in. So he helped me with that and I really love the end result. I am going to be uploading my Christmas decorate with me for the Christmas tree and the living room and my dining table. So make sure to stay tuned for that. That is coming up next. And other than that, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!